Hey guys, today's subscriber shout out goes to Just Maya. Thank you for subscribing and being a subscriber. And today's commenter shout out goes to another artist. Thank you for commenting and watching my videos. Now, let's get into the video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 10 things that Woo's World should add to the game or add back. One of the really, really big things that I want Woo's World to add or change in their game is their entire gifting system. I think Instead of our gifts going to our messages or just like straight directly to our inventory, I think it would be really cool if we had something like a gifting box. In the gifting box, it would kind of be similar to messages. It would show you that you have gifts and who the gifts are from, but in order to actually see the item that you got gifted, you have to click on it and open it like a grabs. And then it would be in your inventory. I think this would be really cool because sometimes you guys send me gifts and I think it would be really cool because then I could open your guys' gifts on camera and you guys can see my reaction. Not only that, but I think that we should also be able to gift things from our inventory instead of just stuff from shops. I think these changes to the gifting system would make it 10 times better and I feel like a lot more people would use it. I know I would for sure. But yeah, I really think that they should do that to the gifting system or something similar because I would really like it if I could open your guys' gifts on video and you guys could see my reactions and it would just be like little surprises, you know? This is another really big one that I have been wanting Woo's World to add for forever. I have a lot of things I want them to add, so that's why I'm making this video in hopes that they see it because I'm sure they get a lot of suggestions. I think Woo's World should add some type of program for Woo's Tubers. I just think it would be really cool and, you know, to maybe show appreciation, I guess. I do have a lot of ideas for the benefits that the people in the program could get. Some of these ideas include a special unit, a special trophy, a special title or achievement, a special pose, a special public unit, which I will go into a little bit more detail after, a special besties, a special losing background, and a different colored chat bubble. The public unit thing would be something like the Hollywood Stars Park where it would basically just like show everybody who's in the program and it would be a public unit for everybody to go to. But yeah, those are some of my ideas for the benefits that the people in this program could have. Now, the requirements would be all up to Woo's World and same thing with how you get into the program, whether they pick you or you apply, whatever. But I just think that the program would be a really, really cool thing and I really want them to add it. This is something pretty small, but I think that you should be able to sort your friends list from the most recently added to the oldest added. Cause I just think it would be cool to kind of see who your first ever friend on Woo's World was. And if you ever want to unfriend somebody, but you don't know their username or remember it, this would make it a lot easier. Personally, I had that happen to me, which is why I thought it was a good idea to have this in Woo's World. But yeah, this is just one of the smaller ones. I really think that you should be able to sort your friends list from the most recently added to the oldest or the oldest to most recent. Keys used to be in Woo's World and I really think that Woo's World should add them back. If you only want certain people to go in your unit, keys would be amazing for that. I think keys would really help me during events such as meet and greets because then I could kind of use them as tickets and know who's all going and I wouldn't really have to worry about certain people such as trolls coming in to ruin my event. But yeah, keys should definitely be added back because they would make those types of things like events so much easier to host and organize. This idea and the next idea actually came from one of you guys. So, complete credit to Moonchild Kiki for these ideas. I think co-owning a unit would be really cool because if you're hosting a game or something with a friend, your friend could edit your unit and just help you out with it, really. And hosting things, again, would be a lot easier, especially if it was like a big event or a big game or something and there is like a lot of people there. Um, it would be really nice to have a friend or something help you out. Recently, a lot of older players have been returning to Woo's World, and obviously they're much older now compared to when they played before and they were kids. I think we should be allowed to set an age range for our unit, such as 13+, plus, 16+, plus, or maybe even 18+. Plus. 
because as the game is getting older, a lot more adults are starting to play. Again, like I said, because they are old players returning to the game. And this feature would go off by the date of birth that you set when you made your account. I feel like a lot of people would really appreciate this, especially because I've seen a lot of hangouts that are labeled 18 plus or 16 plus or whatever, but we all know kids probably won't listen to that and they will go anyway. And I'm not sure if I see Woo's World actually ever adding this, but I think it would be kind of cool. This is another feature that was in Woo's World, but then got removed. Events was a feature in Woo's World where you could basically put up your unit, and events made it so much easier to get people to come to your unit. Nowadays, you literally just have to sit there and wait. Events really put your unit out there, and you could even choose a category that you wanted to put it in and give your unit a description. I think Woo's World should definitely add this back because it would be so much easier to see what units are active, what shops are active, and people would come to your unit so much faster, you wouldn't just have to sit there and wait. So yeah, Woo's World, if you're watching this, please give us events back, please. Even if it's in like a different form, it doesn't have to be the exact same as last time, just please give us some type of unit exposure. You know how in your inventory you can sort your items? Like you can see all of your pants, all of your shoes, all of your tops, stuff like that. I think you should be able to sort all of your colorables and your newest items that just appeared in your inventory. Because I really don't like having to scroll all the way down my inventory just to find all my colorable things. And sometimes, if you go on a big shopping spree, it will show most of your newest items at the top of your inventory, but sometimes it doesn't, and they get all mixed up in there somehow. Like, I'll go on a huge shopping spree at somebody's sale, and most of the new items I just bought will be at the top, but sometimes I will have to scroll down to find the rest of them because they got mixed up in there somehow. So yeah, Woo's World, if you're watching this, you should definitely add more sorting options such as color bowls and newest items. Now that sitting is officially available in Woo's World, I think it's time for us to actually be able to interact with certain objects and get more animations. Items such as beds and tables or counters with food on them, I think are really good examples. I think we should be able to sleep in the beds, lay on the beds, whatever, and I think we should be able to eat the food. Even things like closets, we should be able to click on them and then it'll give us like maybe a little animation of our woozen opening or closing the door, or maybe even looking through the clothes. Here is another thing that Woo's World took out of the game. Years ago, if you were a VIP, you would get 60 woos a day, and this added up over time, and you could buy a lot of stuff. Woos World did take this out, and I can see why, you know, for money. But I think maybe adding it back would encourage people to buy VIP a little bit more. It doesn't even have to be 60 woos, it can be less than that. I feel like it would be nice for us VIPs to be able to get some type of woos a little bit easier, even if it's just a little bit, because sometimes the daily wheel doesn't do us very much justice, to be honest. That is my list of things that I think should be added to Woo's World or added back to Woo's World. Let me know what you guys think or if you think Woo's World should add anything else, please let me know. I would really like to hear your guys' ideas below. And maybe Woo's World will watch this and take your idea into consideration if they see it in the comments. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much and goodbye.